Hi, I'm Alvin. I like to bake brownies at home. And today I'm gonna to be making brownies with 20 ingredients, 10 ingredients, and two ingredients. I think it's gonna be fun to see how the ingredient amount affects the brownies. So let's get to it. First up, the 20 ingredient brownie. In this recipe, I'm starting with brown sugar, some granulated sugar, three sticks of butter, and mixing them with a hand mixer until it's nice and incorporated. Then I'm adding some eggs, some salt, and some vanilla extract. And again, mixing until everybody becomes friends and the mixture is nice and silky and smooth and just looks really good. Yeah, I really like the texture of this sugar egg stuff. Next up, I'm adding in some melted dark chocolate, which I just microwaved until it was melted. And that's just also gonna get mixed in with the egg and sugar mixture and become this really glossy, smooth, chocolatey, ribbony stuff that just, it already smells really great in here. Next, adding some all-purpose flour, some Dutch processed cocoa powder, which is essentially a really, really good version of cocoa powder because it really tastes like intense chocolate. So if you can find it, I think it's great. After it's all sort of mixed, make sure to scrape down the sides so that any of that residue is folded back in. And after that, I'm gonna fold in some chopped up semi-sweet chocolate just to add a lot of texture and add these pockets of chocolate that'll be nice and gooey once the brownie is baked. All right, now I'm gonna transfer it to a pretty large pan lined with some parchment paper to prevent sticking. I'm just gonna spread it out, push it toward the edges, make sure that everything is as even as I can get it. And then this is going to go into the oven and bake at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. While that's baking, I'm gonna make the cream cheese topping. So I'm mixing cream cheese, some mascarpone cheese, which really adds a nice and rich flavor, using a hand mixer to sort of get those two combined first. Then I'm adding some sugar, some vanilla, and mixing again until this is all one really just smooth, creamy mixture. And then one egg. Oh, just you know, make sure you don't get any shell. Some milk, and combine this until everything is nice and liquid. There's no lumps. Again, make sure to scrape down the sides too, because sometimes cream cheese can get stuck, and we really don't want any lumps in this mixture because we want everything to be really smooth and delicious. So after those 25 minutes are up, take out the brownies and pour this mixture directly on top of the brownies. It should flatten out and even out pretty easily and return those back into the oven for another 30 minutes. So this is what it looks like after it's finished baking and cooled for a couple of hours. Now I'm making a ganache for the top. So this is just some chocolate and some really hot, heavy cream and some salt. I'm slowly stirring this with a spoon because I don't want any air bubbles in this and it takes a while, but eventually it'll become this really shiny and glossy chocolate ganache that I just kind of want to eat that. But first it has to go on top of the brownies. So I'm going to pour the ganache evenly over the brownies and I may or may not have definitely licked the bowl after that off screen, but you guys don't need to see that. Making sure that it's spread all even. One trick that I also like to use at the very end is to kind of shake it until it all evens out. Until it, it almost looks like a mirror, which you can see yourself, which is kind of cool. After that, it goes back in the fridge for a couple of hours until it's completely cool. And the 20th ingredient is gonna be some flaky sea salt, which I think really adds a nice visual and a textural touch. I like to trim the edges off of this, one, because that's an excuse for me to eat all of the trimmings. And two, I think it just makes for a prettier presentation, especially that I'm gonna give all these brownies to my friends. So I like to trim all these off. You can see it's, it's taking a little bit, but hey, these are some really, really thick and fudgy ones. So it's definitely worth the effort. The layers look great, it's pretty awesome. And this is the 20 ingredient brownie with a cream cheese topping and a chocolate ganache on top. I'm gonna be tasting these at the very end, so stick around. All right, moving on. Next up is the 10 ingredient brownie. First, I'm starting with some semi-sweet chocolate that has been chopped, adding some Dutch processed cocoa powder, some espresso powder, a couple sticks of unsalted butter, and just kind of giving that a nice mix until this really rich chocolate looking mixture comes together. Oh yeah, that, that's looking really nice. Shiny. Next, a couple of eggs, some granulated sugar, brown sugar, kosher salt, vanilla extract, and mixing that again with a hand mixer until the eggs and the sugar sort of whip together and become super fluffy. This takes a couple of minutes, but it's pretty cool because the mixture goes from kind of this yellow brown sludge looking thing to these nice pale golden yellow fluffy cloud ribbon things. 
Yeah, those look nice. And then after that, pouring in that nice chocolate mixture that we made before, and I'm just gonna Bob Ross and Jackson Pollock all over it because that's that's how the chocolate came out. And then slowly mixing that in with a hand mixer again. Wow, geez, that looks, that looks great. And then just mixing that until it's all combined and everybody's just having a good time. For the dry ingredients, I'm sifting together some flour and just to make sure that there aren't any lumps and then folding it in with the spatula because I don't want to overwork the flour too much. I, I beat the crap out of the eggs and the sugar and the butter like it owed me money, so I don't want to do that to the flour as well. This batter is going to go directly into a same pan lined with parchment. I just want to make sure I get every little bit out of there. Spreading that around, it's really smooth and easy to work with, so it's pretty nice. This is the Tasty 101 Ultimate Brownies recipe, so it's a really good one. This goes in an oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes first. Then I take it out and bang it on the counter so that you get these nice cracks that appear at the top. So after it's cooled, it looks like this. I've taken it out of the pan, and I really want to trim the edges again because these are snacks that I'm gonna eat myself and the rest go to my friends. So I'm gonna trim these edges and cut these up into nice squares so that you can see the texture inside. It's really soft and really fluffy. As you can see, the top has this nice crackle topping to it. And these are the 10 ingredient brownies from the Tasty 101 series, which is fantastic. And last but not least, the two ingredient brownies. So these start with four eggs, which I'm gonna use the hand mixer to beat until they're really, really fluffy. Uh, thank you, hand mixer, for saving me a lot of physical stress, because that would be a lot of work. Once they're really fluffy, I'm pouring in a cup of melted Nutella, or any chocolate hazelnut spread you can find around. It's just melted in the microwave until it's warm, and it can, I'm just, you know, doing a little painting over the eggs again because I don't know how to get stuff out of a container. Mixing it again until the mixture becomes nice and sort of cohesive. It looks a little bit liquidy at this point, but that's totally fine. Pour this onto a square baking pan, again lined with parchment paper for easy removal, and this goes into a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes. After they're done and cooled, they look like this. So they shrink down a little bit, mostly because the eggs have a lot of air in them, but this, yeah, definitely looks like brownies. And this is optional, but I like to frost them with some more additional melted Nutella, just because I think it adds up some extra flavor, it covers up any cracks or craggles that might have appeared, and it just makes it look pretty overall. So technically it's still two ingredients because we already used Nutella, so please don't yell at me in the comments. And now we're going to cut it into some pieces. I may or may not have gotten Nutella all over my kitchen by doing it this way, but I think the end result looks really, really delicious. Look at that texture. It's pretty awesome. And these are the two ingredient brownies with just Nutella and eggs. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so time to taste. The 20 ingredient one was really decadent and really rich. The brownie was fudgy, the cream cheese added a nice creamy touch that sort of matched the chocolate well. And the chocolate ganache on the top really just sealed the deal and made it just a really great dessert-like brownie. The 10 ingredient one was very soft. It was really fudgy because of all the eggs and the sugar being whipped together. And it's just your solid overall brownie. The two ingredient one was really interesting. It was almost like a chocolate sponge cake that was a little bit dense. The Nutella on the top definitely added some extra sugar and some extra oomph to it that made it feel special, which was pretty cool. Fun fact, I'm actually allergic to Nutella, but I had to eat this for science. Don't worry, I'm okay. So how much does the ingredient amount affect the end result? I think brownies are something where you get out what you put in. The 10 ingredient one is your standard, amazing, solid, normal brownie recipe. The 20 ingredient one really was just an elevated, more amped up, filled in version of your normal brownie. It would have been great without the cream cheese and the ganache, but I think with those, it kind of takes it to another level. Then two ingredient one is actually something I was very surprised by. Even though it has no flour, it's literally just Nutella and eggs, it came together to form something that tasted very close to a brownie. If you didn't tell me, I don't think that would have been only two ingredients. Honestly, if you wanna make brownies, any of these recipes are fantastic. If you wanna go all out, go for 20, go for 30 even. There's a lot of things you can do with it. If you want something that's just quick and you only have Nutella and eggs lying around, you can make brownies too. If you just want a solid brownie that hits all those notes, the 10 ingredient one is fantastic. If you make the two ingredient ones, make sure that the people you're serving aren't allergic to Nutella, otherwise they might sue you. And on that note, have a good one. Happy baking. I'll see you guys next time.